Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my April TBR. If you watched my March wrap up, you know I passed the preliminaries when it comes to my Naruto TBR game. So we're gonna just start off with that first, just to knock it out of the way. You passed the Chunin exam preliminaries. Hayate is sending you on to the finals with a reward for your success with your fight. My character was Sakura, and I can draw one last card in the finals. In the show, Sakura is in the stands watching the finals instead of competing, but this is also one of the rare moments we see her openly support and root for Naruto. She also puts aside her differences with Ino. For every personality trait you share with Sakura, pick a card. The amount of cards for this month will depend on the player. Sakura is intelligent, courageous, compassionate, quick to temper, self-conscious, hardworking, and possessive. So I will say this, I already picked two cards because I really wanted to read one of these books and I'm interested in reading another. So, so far I have two. So we'll just say that I agree with, or feel like, you know, I'm in sync with the personality traits of Sakura that are like quick to temper. My husband will agree. Um, and intelligent, I would say I'm pretty smart. Um, but you know what? I want to, I want to do two more, but like I already said, let me see. I can draw less one, one less card. So <laughs> that doesn't mean I can swap it out. So I need to be smart about this. I'm going to pick two more cards. So we'll have more, but see, I'm screwing myself over again. So let's pick two more cards and then I'll go over what these two cards are. So let's shuffle this bad BB up. First one I pick is a book by a blogger, vlogger, YouTube video creator, or other online personality. And this is Conan. And the next one will be, I get so nervous it's gonna be one of the advanced cards. This is Tamari, a book featuring three generations, grandparent, parent, child. Other two cards I pulled were a genre hybrid and a book that has a heart, diamond club, or spade on the cover. All right, so the two I picked before, you know, because I really was in the mood. So for the book that has a heart, diamond club, or spade, oh, or gem, sorry, on the cover is going to be Jade City by Fonda Lee. I've already started this. I'm on chapter four and I'm already really liking it. Uh, this is, um, this is like a mafia style book that takes place in Hong Kong, I believe, or a place that's supposed to be like Hong Kong. And it has to do with like j the gem jade giving people powers that's what i've gotten so far in the four um chapters i've read and so far it's like really good i don't believe that this is young adult i think this is like adult fantasy which will be nice even though I, like i absolutely could be in the mood for young adult uh, i'm really excited about this one and then for a genre hybrid i chose these violent delights by chloe gong so this was actually on the pop sugar list so i don't know how this is a genre hybrid to be honest with you but I own it and I've heard good things about it so I was like you know what I since it's on the list I want to pick it up and I'm not exactly sure what this is about I can't remember if this is a retelling oh it's a Romeo and Juliet kind of style retelling that takes place in Shanghai so it's another kind of a uh, mafia style two families against each other uh, adult, I think this is adult fantasy. It could be young adult, but again, this is what I'm really excited about reading. And then a book by a blogger, vlogger, YouTube creator. I am going to read a, the book by Akila, obviously. Uh, I really, really enjoy her content. Right now, I'm, I mostly follow her on Twitter because I think we're, she no longer does YouTube, which is fine, but she did write a book and she wrote this book. Man, I can't remember. Uh, it wasn't, I don't think it was right before the 2016 election, but it might be. So if it was, it's probably going to give me um, the Phoebe Robinson vibes of like, we're talking about Hillary Clinton winning the election. And we don't, unfortunately. But uh, either way, I love Akilah, obviously. 
hilarious. Um, I would definitely recommend people follow her on Twitter. And then a book featuring three generations. What did I write down for that one? Let's see. So for this one I have written down, You Had Me at Ola. I don't have the author on this one, so I'll try to put it up somewhere. But yeah, uh, those four books are books that I want to read. I know that I want to read another Anita Blake novel. I'm in the process of reading one right now, but I can't remember what the second book title is. But like I said in my last video, I really want to take my time reading that series. It's a series that I've read several times in the past, but I don't think I've read it within the last four years. So I remember a lot, but you know, some of it's kind of like murky. Uh, this one I really do like. And other than that, you know, I really want to try to make April like a very chill, easy reading month. I don't want to have like, you know, this long list of books that I read, if I can help it. Uh, if things change, then that's a different story, but I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because obviously last month I had like five prompts I had to do for the Naruto TBR game. I know for a fact I will be passing this one, so there's no issue there, uh, but we shall see. There's another book that I'm really interested in reading. It's called Hex. Again, I'll try to put the uh, author's name up somewhere. A couple books recommended this one. I believe they said that it was one of their it was on a list of one of their favorite horror books. Uh, I'll double check, but I got it. I thought, why not? Uh, when I read The Whisper Man last month, I really liked it. That and The Silent Patient are two like thriller style books. And I don't know, I was like, I'm kind of in the mood for this. So I might pick that up. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, that's my April TBR. Trying to keep it easy and simple, like I said. Uh, if these are, if any of these books you've read, please let me know. I'd love to know what you thought about them, what you rated them down below in the comments. And uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, if you like the video, please like the video. If you like, like it, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, with that being said, please have a good day. Goodbye.